Hey, I was advised to get in touch with a couple of questions about surgery. Due to complications during a birth, I had complex surgery and stay in NICU. I guess that's neonatal ICU, is it? Uh, this brought to light that I am uh, not able to undergo general. I had issues with oxygen levels and developed pulmonary hypertension. I've lost over five stone in the past 24 months, and this combined with multiple pregnancies have left me with sagging stomach and deflated breasts. I'm trying to get information on whether a mini tummy, uh, a mini tuck and breast implant are uplift, potentially with transfer of fat from stomach to breast is possible under local also typical how much size loss there is when doing an uplift i am 34 f slash g right a few issues there okay so uh first issue i'll i've got to try and remember about i should have put on this as two separate questions about the size loss when there's a lot uplift i've got to try and remember to answer that but i'll do the first one about uh whether a mini tummy tuck and breast uplift with transfer of fat to the stomach. There's another question in a minute about mini tummy tucks. And I've, just as a thing, if you've lost five stone, I think maybe a mini tummy tuck won't be enough. Just put that out there. But um, in fact, the other question talks about, but maybe it's the same person asking a question. Anyway, because there's another question about mini tummy tuck under local. Anyway, um, so the bottom line is the specific answer is if you're specifically saying can a mini tummy tuck and a breast uplift be done in a local yes they can personally i would be i wouldn't want to do them both together under local it's perfectly reasonable to do them both together but i think to do them under local both of them under local is a bit too much um but you certainly have them done under, separately under local uh they're both relatively big operations to be doing under local they're sort of pushing the boundaries of what you can do under local but it is possible and again if you add in a fat transfer from the stomach to the breasts you're adding in even more surgery so i think it is a lot to be under, under local anesthetic but eat, you'd you'd probably have to have to stage it and i don't think you'd, you'd be able to do both under local and i actually think a breast lift with fat grafting from the stomach to the breasts in one operation under local personally i think is pushing it a bit it'll be local in sedation not pure local the that's the question specifically asked the other thing that would worry me a bit is what i would suggest is whoever you see who are your plastic surgeon i think they're probably going to want to talk to the surgeons who or the doctors who are looking after you who have told you that you shouldn't have a general because um, you've written here due to complications I had complex surgery. I'm not able to undergo a general. I had issues with oxygen levels and developed pulmonary hypertension. If you have got an illness, so the person I'll be asking you, how ill are you? Or have you got a good exercise toler tolerance? Are you able to, you know, walk up the flight of stairs? Are you able to sort of live a normal life? Because if you are, then that's that 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 would be okay. But if you if you've got problems with pulmonary hypertension, if you're not really able to function uh, in life normally and you are at risk of it having a general anaesthetic, I think you're going to have risk of having a local anaesthetic with sedation as well. So um, I think you've got to question whether it's worth having surgery at all if you are, you know, unwell and uh, not well enough to undergo a general anaesthetic because the stress associated with the general anaesthetic is similar to that associated with local insulation because local insulation is you know you are sedated it is quite an invasive thing and these are quite invasive operations so they'd be quite taxing to your body and to your respiratory system and what have you so i would question whether you would be a candidate for surgery at all so on paper a mini tummy tuck and breast lift can be done under local and sedation but if you are so if you've got a pre-existing illness which means you can't have a general the, the it may also mean that you can't have a local insulation because you know it's still quite a stressful thing to undergo so we'd have to talk to your doctors and we'd have to think about whether it would be worth um doing something less or not having surgery really if you're very um uh, debilitated by your pulmonary hypertension because you're going to have risks with local insulation um so that is an issue now the other thing i mustn't forget is how much size loss there is when doing an uplift i'm a 34 f slash g so it's it, it varies that and i don't i haven't got a good answer to give to people when they talk about the size and an uplift i normally say it's about the same some people say that they feel bigger because the breasts are higher up on your chest some people say they feel smaller because you do remove a bit of skin 
uh, when you do an uplift, but the volume that you remove is very small. Broadly speaking, I think it's about the same. But what, what I would say, if you're a 34F slash G, that's quite a big volume of breast. And if you do an uplift on someone who's got a big volume of breast, that volume of breast is going to be acted on by gravity and can sag again. So I don't know what, you've got to have the size you want. And if you want to be that size, fine. But it's an idea to think about having a reduction, maybe taking some volume out of the lower pole of the breast to try and release, uh, reduce the heaviness of the breast so it's less likely to sag again. Because if you do an uplift on someone who's a 34F stroke G, um, yes, you will make them lifted to start off with, but they will settle slash sag, you know, and the bigger they are, the more they sag. I take